Hi everyone, it's Lauren, and it's been quite a while since I made my last video. Um, just a little warning, um, my YouTube is down and I can't watch videos. Um, every time I go to a video and try to watch it, it says error, error occurred, and it like does that static screen and it won't let me watch any YouTube videos. Um, so I guess I'll start out with a little update of what's been going on in my life. So I got back from Europe on the 11th, and it was it was really amazing to be there. I went to Vienna and Prague. We stayed, um, oh, and this was for my MISO trip, the Milwaukee Youth Symphony Orchestra. Um, and we went there to play in a competition in Vienna, but we, we did a couple concerts in Prague as well and stayed um, about five days in each place and Prague was absolutely amazing and like all the streets were cobblestone so even though I brought my walker I couldn't use it because all the streets were cobblestone so I kind of just brought it along for nothing and it was kind of a pain in the butt so that's the Walker, Walker experience of Prague, but we had a lot of time in Prague. We got like like three hours, four hours average every morning to go walk around Prague in groups of three or more and just kind of explore. And I took the tram for the first time, which was interesting, and the subway for the first time. Um, and it was it was just so beautiful there it's like completely different and it's just it looks so like out of a movie in my opinion because it's like all the streets are cobblestone all the buildings are like very intricate and detailed and it's just gorgeous um so that was Prague and Vienna was a little disappointing because we only had out of the five days we were there like an hour free time total to like kind of walk around and we, we could only go so far because it was a short period of time but when we were driving on the bus to get from like destination to destination the hills and like the valleys and the mountains or whatever you want to call them were absolutely amazing like the sound of music, it's, it was totally amazing. Um, I would live there if I could, just in those valleys, there was like a lot of houses down there just chilling in the beautiful scenery. And I liked Vienna as well. It was quite pricey, <laughs> um, definitely compared to Prague, because in my eyes, I saw Prague as, um, like, not cheap, but good deals on everything. And then you go to Vienna and everything's super expensive. So it's kind of like, um, a shock. Um, so I brought back a lot of, uh, souvenirs. I got a Vienna sweatshirt for myself in Vienna a Vienna bag for my sister and a clock with Mozart on it from my parents from Vienna and because we only had that hour of free time I didn't really get to look at anything else to buy so I got those three things which was enough money spent there um, in Prague I got my mom a glass flower because they are known for their glass and stuff I also got a bunch of like other things. I got my myself a an amazing blue scarf and I got my dad a glass dragon because he likes dragons. And I got a bunch of other stuff but I don't really have to talk about it. Um, yeah so that was my trip to Europe. The one downside of it though was that in Vienna I noticed that my ankles were feeling like super super stiff and I looked down and they are big they are huge they are like meatloafs instead of my feet 
um, some serious cankles going on, and it was it got so bad and so swollen that my blood vessels actually popped, and it was so painful and it just looked disgusting. I couldn't see my toes, my feet and ankles, and it was bad. They were like red and bruised and big and I like couldn't get my feet in my shoes but otherwise it was super super fun and I'm glad I went um yeah so a little bit of update on how my symptoms have been I've been having pretty bad sleep I've been super tired and I'm all Fatigue has always been a major symptom for me, but sometimes it just seems to get worse, and it's definitely getting worse. Like, I feel I could be taking naps every day, and I have taken some naps, actually. Um, if I didn't feel like there was other stuff I needed to do, or if I wanted to, like, take a nap, then I would be taking one, but I just don't feel like it's a good use of time. And another thing along with the sleep is I've been having these horrible nightmares they're super vivid and they're just dreadful and they're happening like every night so sleep is not going too well for me right now um, another thing that's been irritating is weight gain um, I've been eating less like smaller portions I've been eating better food I've been exercising every day on my um, exercise bike that I have at home now which is really nice and I've just been gaining weight I haven't been losing it I've just been gaining and gaining and gaining and it's really frustrating to me because I don't understand why I'm gaining it we thought it was because of Lyrica because it causes you to gain a lot of weight and it wasn't really helping the pain because no medications usually work for me so we went off and um, I haven't noticed a difference in the gaining of the weight yet, but we'll see. Um, recently I had a friend over who also has POTS, and she's my age, and we spent the day together, and we went swimming and just hung out, we talked about our symptoms a little bit, we went to dinner, we went and played some games, and yeah, it was really fun and I just feel like we get along so well because we we've gone like through the same thing and Natalie and uh, my friend's younger sister are about the same age and also get along really well and my mom and her mom get along really well so it's like we all get along well so that was really fun so my question for this week is does anyone else have these horrible nightmares and if so what do you do like to help with it or what medications have you noticed ca contributed to that or what medications have helped with that like as a side effect um anything like that anything helps and i think that's all for this week hopefully my youtube will be up and running again before my next video and i will see you then have a good week everyone hope you're all doing great